I'm going to show you how to use equilibrium tables, which are a tool that we can use to solve more complicated equilibrium problems later on. Uh, I'll just divide them up so you can see they are three separate problems. And if we take the first one here, where you can see that we have a reaction where nitrogen is reacting with three moles of hydrogen to give two moles of ammonia, and it's an equilibrium. And we're given some information. We're told that initially 0.1 moles of nitrogen was mixed with 0.1 moles of hydrogen, and that there was no ammonia present at the beginning. And then the system was allowed to come to equilibrium, and you're given the extra piece of information that at equilibrium there is uh, 0.07 moles of nitrogen. But you're not told how much hydrogen and ammonia there are at equilibrium, and that's what we want to work out. So what I'm going to do is put an extra row in the middle of this table, which I'm going to call uh, moles used or produced. You could call it perhaps the change, change in moles. So you can see that for nitrogen, we started with 0.1, we ended up with 0.07. So we must have used 0.03, OK? We could say minus 0.03. So 0.1 minus 0.03 gives us 0.07. Now, how much hydrogen was used? Well, we know that for every one mole of nitrogen, three moles of hydrogen get produced. It's a one to three. Sorry, for every one mole of nitrogen used, three moles of hydrogen get used. So it's a one to three stoichiometric ratio. So if we know that 0.03 moles of nitrogen were used, then we also know that three times that, which would be 0.09, moles of hydrogen must have been used. So the moles of hydrogen left at equilibrium is 0.1 minus 0.09, which gives us 0.01. On the other side of the reaction, we've got the products. Now, going back to the stoichiometry of the reaction, you can see there's one mole of nitrogen uh, ends up giving two moles of ammonia. So that's a one to two ratio. If we used 0.03 moles of nitrogen, then we must have produced twice as much ammonia. So that's 0.06. And it was produced, so we'll make it positive, plus 0.06. So we started with none. We created 0.06 moles, so at equilibrium, we have 0.06. And that's our table filled in.